Summary of 48 Law of Power How to Gain Success and Power According to Robert Greene Introduction This is a summary of Robert Greene's book entitled, 48 Law of Power. So, to get a more detailed explanation, please buy the book at a bookstore in your area. Law 1. Never outshine the master. Always make those above you feel comfortably superior. In your desire to please or impress them, do not go too far in displaying your talents or you might accomplish the opposite. Inspire fear and insecurity. Make your masters appear more brilliant than they are and you will attain the heights of power. This first law also emphasizes the importance of paying attention to the dynamics of power and hierarchy in the situation, so that you can choose the appropriate and effective actions to achieve your goals, but it should be noted that the use of this first law should also be balanced with confidence and actual abilities. Being too obedient to superiors or more powerful individuals can be detrimental to yourself and limit your potential for growth. Law 2. Never put too much trust in friends, learn how to use enemies. Be wary of friends, they will betray you more quickly, for they are easily aroused to envy. They also become spoiled and tyrannical. But hire a former enemy and he will be more loyal than a friend, because he has more to prove. In fact, you have more to fear from friends than from enemies. If you have no enemies, find a way to make them. Enemies can provide the pressure and challenges necessary to motivate you to achieve your goals, but utilizing enemies must be done wisely and should not bring about significant negative consequences. Law 3. Conceal your intentions. Keep people off balance and in the dark by never revealing the purpose behind your actions. If they have no clue what you are up to, they cannot prepare defense. Guide them far enough down the wrong path, envelop them in enough smoke, and by the time they realize your intentions, it will be too late. The third law is based on the assumption that others can exploit the information you provide for their own benefit or even to harm you. Therefore, it is advisable not to reveal too much of what you are thinking or planning. You should also learn to read the desires and motives of others well and behave according to the situation at hand, this will enable you to gain greater information and advantages in the long run while avoiding unwanted threats and dangers. Law 4. Always say less than necessary. When you are trying to impress people with words, the more you say, the more common you appear, and the less in control. Even if you are saying something banal, it will seem original if you make it vague, open-ended, and sphinx-like. Powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. The more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. Learn to reflect on the words you are about to speak before actually saying them, so that you can choose your words wisely and speak only when necessary. Law 5. So much depends on reputation. Guard ID with your life. Reputation is the cornerstone of power. Through reputation alone you can intimidate and win. Once it slips, however, you are vulnerable, and will be attacked on all sides. Make your reputation unassailable. Always be alert to potential attacks and thwart them before they happen. Meanwhile, learn to destroy your enemies by opening holes in their own reputations. Then stand aside and let public opinion hang them. The fifth law emphasizes the importance of maintaining your reputation and behaving consistently with the image you want to project. Avoid actions that damage your reputation, even if it means sacrificing short-term pleasure or gain. Don't pay too much attention to what others think of you, instead, focus on your goals and behave according to the values you hold. To build and maintain a good reputation, always demonstrate good quality in everything you do. Avoid unethical or dishonest actions, and adhere to principles of good conduct. Additionally, strive to take actions that have a positive impact on others. Law 6. Court attention at all cost. Everything is judged by its appearance, what is unseen counts for nothing. Never let yourself get lost in the crowd, then, 
or buried in oblivion. Stand out be conspicuous, at all cost make yourself a magnet of attention by appearing larger, more colorful, more mysterious than the bland and timid masses. The sixth law is based on the assumption that those who stand out and attract attention are usually the most powerful and successful. Strive to find ways to highlight yourself and become the center of attention, don't be afraid to do things that are different and unusual. Show creativity in your actions and words, but the book also emphasizes the importance of maintaining politeness and ethics while keeping your goals in mind when seeking attention. This way, you can effectively capture attention and avoid unwanted problems. Law 7. Get others to do the work for you, but always take the credit. Use the wisdom, knowledge, and legwork of other people to further your own cause. Not only will such assistance save you valuable time and energy, it will give you a godlike aura of efficiency and speed. In the end your helpers will be forgotten and you will be remembered. Never do yourself what others can do for you. The seventh law is based on the assumption that someone who can control and manipulate others will have greater power and influence. Demonstrate intelligence and agility in manipulating others, making them unaware that they are being manipulated. However, the book also emphasizes avoiding methods that are too cunning or dishonest. You should still pay attention to ethics and integrity when manipulating others and take credit for the success transparently. Law 8. Make other people come to you, use bait if necessary. When you force the other person to act, you are the one in control. It is always better to make your opponent come to you, abandoning his own plans in the process. Lure him with fabulous gains, then attack. You hold the cards. The eighth law is based on the assumption that those who position themselves as a source of information or desire for others will have greater power and influence. However, the book also emphasizes that you should avoid using bait that is too deceptive or immoral. Always maintain ethics and integrity when capturing the attention of others. Law 9. Win through your actions, never through argument. Any momentary triumph you think you have gained through argument is really a pyrrhic victory. The resentment and ill will you stir up is stronger and lasts longer than any momentary change of opinion. It is much more powerful to get others to agree with you through your actions, without saying a word. Demonstrate, do not explicate. The ninth law is based on the assumption that someone can build power and influence by consistently demonstrating their abilities and achievements. Stay focused on actions, not just arguments. Robert Greene emphasizes that you should pay attention to the impression you give so that others are impressed and trust you. Law 10. Infection. Avoid the unhappy and unlucky. You can die from someone else's misery emotional states are as infectious as diseases. You may feel you are helping the drowning man but you are only precipitating your own disaster. The unfortunate sometimes draw misfortune on themselves, they will also draw it on you. Associate with the happy and fortunate instead. Don't get caught up in other people's drama or conflicts because it can divert your attention from your goals and ambitions. Law 11. Learn to keep people dependent on you. To maintain your independence you must always be needed and wanted. The more you are relied on the more freedom you have. Make people depend on you for their happiness and prosperity and you have nothing to fear. Never teach them enough Joe that they can do without you. Utilize situations or opportunities to provide assistance or support to others so that they become dependent on you, but do not overextend yourself in helping others as it may diminish their dependence on you. You should also pay attention to boundaries in helping others to maintain your influence and avoid the risk of being manipulated by others. Law 12. Use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. One sincere and honest move will cover over dozens of dishonest ones. Open-hearted gestures of honesty and generosity bring down the guard of even the most suspicious people. Once your selective honesty opens a hole in their armor, you can deceive and manipulate them at will. A timely gift, a Trojan horse, 
will serve the same purpose. In employing this strategy, you must carefully choose the moments and appropriate contexts to demonstrate honesty and generosity. Showing too much honesty and generosity can make you lose power and control over the situation. Law 13. When asking for help, appeal to people's self-interest, never to their mercy or gratitude. If you need to turn to an ally for help, do not bother to remind him of your past assistance and good deeds. He will find a way to ignore you. Instead, uncover something in your request, or in your alliance with him, that will benefit him, and emphasize it out of all proportion. He will respond enthusiastically when he sees something to be gained for himself. Do not seek pity or gratitude from them in this process as it can weaken your position and make them more likely to reject your demands or requests. Law 14. Pose as a friend, work as a spy. Knowing about your rival is critical use spies to gather valuable information that will keep you a step ahead. Better still, play the spy yourself in polite social encounters, learn to probe. Ask indirect questions to get people to reveal their weaknesses and intentions. There is no occasion that is not an opportunity for artful spying. You should also pay attention to ethics when gathering information. Eavesdropping or stealing others' personal information is highly discouraged, therefore, you should seek more subtle ways to gather the information you need. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. All great leaders since Moses have known that a feared enemy must be crushed completely. Sometimes they have learned this the hard way, if one ember is left alight, no matter how dimly it smolders, a fire will eventually break out. More is lost through stopping halfway than through total annihilation, the enemy will recover, and will seek revenge. Crush him, not only in body but in spirit. Do not grant forgiveness or show mercy to enemies after they have been completely destroyed, as it may give them the impression to rise again and seek revenge later. Law 16. Use absence to increase respect and honor. Too much circulation makes the price go down, the more you are seen and heard from, the more common you appear. If you are already established in a group, temporary withdrawal from it will make you more talked about, even more admired. You must learn when to leave. Create value through scarcity. When you decide to make an appearance, ensure that your presence is highly conspicuous so that others will not forget your presence. This can enhance a stronger impression and garner greater respect from them. Law 17. Keep others in suspended terror, cultivate an air of unpredictability. Humans are creatures of habit with an insatiable need to see familiarity in other people's actions. Your predictability gives them a sense of control. Turn the tables, be deliberately unpredictable. Behavior that seems to have no consistency or purpose will keep them off balance, and they will wear themselves out trying to explain your moves. Taken to an extreme, this strategy can intimidate and terrorize. This law also emphasizes the importance of using unexpected actions to make others feel fearful and powerless. This can create fear and uncertainty in others, making them more dependent on you and hesitant to act without your approval or permission. Law 18. Do not build fortresses to protect yourself, isolation is dangerous. The world is dangerous and enemies are everywhere, everyone has to protect themselves. A fortress seems the safest. But isolation exposes you to more dangers than it protects you from. It cuts you off from valuable information, it makes you conspicuous and an easy target better to circulate among people, find allies, mingle. You are shielded from your enemies by the crowd. Therefore, this law emphasizes the importance of building a strong social network and fostering relationships with people who can provide support and protection. Law 19. Know who you're dealing with, do not offend the wrong person. There are many different kinds of people in the world, and you can never assume that everyone will react to your strategies in the same way. Deceive or outmaneuver some people and they will spend the rest of their lives seeking revenge. They are wolves in lambs clothing. Choose your victims and opponents carefully, then, 
never offend or deceive the wrong person. In the context of power, you must choose your enemies wisely and avoid unnecessary confrontations. If you feel the need to take risky or threatening actions to safeguard your power, ensure that you have enough strength and support to do so successfully. In this regard, understanding who your opponents are and who your allies are can help you choose the right strategies and maximize opportunities to achieve your goals. Law 20. Do not commit to anyone. It is the fool who always rushes to take sides. Do not commit to any side or cause but yourself by maintaining your independence, you become the master of others, playing people against one another, making them pursue you. People who rely too much on others tend to get caught up in power games and lose control over their lives. It's crucial to maintain flexibility and consider other options before making major decisions and long-term commitments. However, flexibility doesn't mean lacking values or principles. It shouldn't make you lose integrity or ethics but rather help you maintain control and power over your own life. Law 21. Play a sucker to catch a sucker, seem dumber than your mark. No one likes feeling stupider than the next person. The trick, then, is to make your victims feel smart, and not just smart but smarter than you are. Once convinced of this, they will never suspect that you may have ulterior motives. However, this law also carries risks because if taken too far, it can lead people to perceive you as foolish and worthless. Therefore, it's important to control how often and in what context you should behave like a fool. This law can be applied in various situations such as in business, politics, or even in everyday life. However, it's essential to remember that excessive manipulation can worsen your reputation. Law 22. Use the surrender tactic, transform weakness into power. When you are weaker, never fight for honor's sake, choose surrender instead. Surrender gives you time to recover, time to torment and irritate your conqueror, time to wait for his power to wean. Do not give him the satisfaction of fighting and defeating you, surrender first. By turning the other cheek you infuriate and unsettle him. Make surrender a tool of power. However, remember, Using surrender tactics too often can result in underlying weaknesses over time. It can lead to a reputation that you lack resilience or even reliability. Therefore, be cautious in using this tactic and ensure you use it appropriately and effectively. In many situations, acknowledging weaknesses can help you win the trust and sympathy of others while still maintaining integrity and self-confidence. Law 23. Concentrate your forces. Conserve your forces and energies by keeping them concentrated at their strongest point you gain more by finding a rich mine and mining it deeper, than by flitting from one shallow mine to another intensity defeats extensity every time. When looking for sources of power to elevate you, find the one key patron the fat cow who will give you milk for a long time to come. In the 23rd law, Robert Greene also emphasizes the importance of choosing a specific field or goal to focus on. Determine a goal that aligns with your talents, interests, and skills so that you can achieve success more easily. Avoid open warfare with your opponents and resist the temptation to spread resources evenly across multiple projects or fields. To achieve success, you must identify your opponent's weaknesses and concentrate your strength on those points. This can provide significant advantages. Law 24. Play the perfect courtier. The perfect courtier thrives in a world where everything revolves around power and political dexterity. He has mastered the art of indirection, he flatters, yields to superiors, and asserts power over others in the most oblique and graceful manner. Learn and apply the laws of courtiership and there will be no limit to how far you can rise in the court. 
This law emphasizes that a perfect courtier is someone who understands how to speak, dress, act, and always observes their surroundings. They can maintain their loyalty while also being independent and wise, with a firm yet humble attitude. A perfect courtier can manipulate their environment to achieve goals and maintain their power. Law 25. Recreate yourself. Do not accept the roles that society foists on you. Recreate yourself by forging a new identity, one that commands attention and never bores the audience. Be the master of your own image rather than letting others define it for you. Incorporate dramatic devices into your public gestures and actions your power will be enhanced and your character will seem larger than life. You should always observe and evaluate yourself. By doing this, you can avoid the traps of routine and stagnation, remaining a dynamic and ever-evolving individual. Law 26. Keep your hands clean. You must seem a paragon of civility and efficiency, your hands are never soiled by mistakes and nasty deeds. Maintain such a spotless appearance by using others as scapegoats and cat's paws to disguise your involvement. Don't let other people's opinions hinder or stop you from achieving success. When you embark on something new, there may be many people who doubt and try to discourage you with negative opinions and doubts. In conclusion, the 26th law teaches you to stay focused on your goals, disregard the doubts of others, and learn to embrace failure as part of the process towards success. Law 27 Play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. People have an overwhelming desire to believe in something. Become the focal point of such desire by offering them a cause, a new faith to follow. Keep your words vague but full of promise, emphasize enthusiasm over rationality and dare thinking give your new disciples rituals to perform. Ask them to make sacrifices on your behalf in the absence of organized religion and grand causes, your new belief system will bring you untold power. However, it's important to remember that this law can also be manipulated and abused, so you need to be careful in choosing the values and goals you teach to your followers. Law 28. Enter action with boldness. If you are unsure of a course of action, do not attempt it. Your doubts and hesitations will infect your execution. Timidity is dangerous, better to enter with boldness. Any mistakes you commit through audacity are easily corrected with more audacity. Everyone admires the bold, no one honors the timid. The courage required in this law should be based on good knowledge, healthy self-confidence, and measured risk management. Law 29. Plan all the way to the end. The ending is everything. Plan all the way to it, taking into account all the possible consequences, obstacles, and twists of fortune that might reverse your hard work and give the glory to others. By planning to the end you will not be overwhelmed by circumstances and you will know when to stop. Gently guide fortune and help determine the future by thinking far ahead. Prepare alternative strategies and plans. But excessive planning can also hinder you from taking action, so you need to remain flexible and ready to adjust your plans if the situation changes. Therefore, the plans you make should be realistic and adaptable, always followed by timely action. Law 30. Make your accomplishments seem effortless. Your actions must seem natural and executed with ease. All the toil and practice that go into them, and also all the clever tricks, must be concealed. When you act, act effortlessly, as if you could do much more. Avoid the temptation of revealing how hard you work, it only raises questions. Teach no one your tricks or they will be used against you. However, appearing too easygoing and relaxed can also make people underestimate and overlook your efforts. Therefore, you need to find the right balance between showcasing your skills and creating a positive impression without appearing arrogant. Law 31. Control the options, get others to play with the cards you deal. 
The best deceptions are the ones that seem to give the other person a choice, your victims feel they are in control, but are actually your puppets. Give people options that come out in your favor whichever one they choose force them to make choices between the lesser of two evils, both of which serve your purpose. Put them on the horns of a dilemma, they are gored wherever they turn. It's important to remember that excessive manipulative tactics can damage your reputation in the long run. Therefore, you need to use your power wisely and avoid actions that can lead to long-term losses. Law 32. Play to people's fantasies. The truth is often avoided because it is ugly and unpleasant. Never appeal to truth and reality unless you are prepared for the anger that comes from disenchantment. Life is so harsh and distressing that people who can manufacture romance or conjure up fantasy are like oases in the desert, everyone flocks to them. There is great power in tapping into the fantasies of the masses. However, manipulating the desires and fantasies of others can be a very dangerous tactic, especially if you're trying to manipulate people for immoral purposes or purposes that go against ethical values and truths. Therefore, you need to consider the long-term impact of your actions. Law 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. Everyone has a weakness, a gap in the castle wall. That weakness is usually an insecurity, an uncontrollable emotion or need. It can also be a small secret pleasure. Either way, once found, it is a thumbscrew you can turn to your advantage. As a note, Exploiting the weaknesses of others in inappropriate ways can damage relationships and your reputation. Therefore, you need to use your power wisely. Law 34. Be royal in your own fashion, act like a king to be treated like one. The way you carry yourself will often determine how you are treated, in the long run. Appearing vulgar or common will make people disrespect you. For a king respects himself and inspires the same sentiment in others. By acting regally and confident of your powers, you make yourself seem destined to wear a crown. However, it's important to remember that being too arrogant and conceited can damage your reputation and make others dislike you. Therefore, ensure that your actions remain within appropriate boundaries. Law 35. Master the art of timing. Never seem to be in a hurry. Hurrying betrays a lack of control over yourself and over time always seem patient, as if you know that everything will come to you eventually. Become a detective of the right moment, sniff out the spirit of the times, the trends that will carry you to power. Learn to stand back when the time is not yet ripe, and to strike fiercely when it has reached fruition. However, the ability to determine the right timing doesn't mean you can postpone important actions or continuously delay crucial decisions. You need to remain bold and decisive in your actions and always ensure that your actions align with good moral and ethical principles. Law 36. Disdain things you cannot have, ignoring them is the rest revenge. By acknowledging a petty problem you give it existence and credibility. The more attention you pay an enemy, the stronger you make him, and a small mistake is often made worse and more visible when you try to fix it. It is sometimes best to leave things alone. If there is something you want but cannot have, show contempt for it. The less interest you reveal, the more superior you seem. However, it's important to remember that you should not neglect important issues or tasks just because you find them difficult to tackle. Make sure you stay focused on your main goals. Law 37. Create compelling spectacles. Striking imagery and grand symbolic gestures create the aura of power, everyone responds to them. Stage spectacles for those around you, then, full of resting visuals and radiant symbols that heighten your presence. Dazzled by appearances, no one will notice what you are really doing. With the caveat that entertainment produced should not harm others or violate good moral and ethical principles. You need to ensure that your actions remain within appropriate boundaries. Law 38. Think as you like but behave like others. If you make a show of going against the times, flaunting your unconventional ideas and unorthodox ways, people will think that you only want attention and that you look down upon them. 
they will find a way to punish you for making them feel inferior. It is far safer to blend in and nurture the common touch. Share your originality only with tolerant friends and those who are sure to appreciate your uniqueness. It's crucial to adapt to the social environment and demonstrate behavior that aligns with the norms and customs prevailing in that social setting. Never give up on your beliefs or principles. Law 39. Stir up waters to catch fish. Anger and emotion are strategically counterproductive. You must always stay calm and objective but if you can make your enemies angry while staying calm yourself, you gain a decided advantage. Put your enemies off balance, find the chink in their vanity through which you can rattle them and you hold the strings. However, you must not create conflicts or chaos that unfairly harm others. Law 40. Despise the free lunch. What is offered for free is dangerous, it usually involves either a trick or a hidden obligation. What has worth is worth paying for. By paying your own way you stay clear of gratitude, guilt, and deceit it is also often wise to pay the full price, there is no cutting comers with excellence. Be lavish with your money and keep it circulating, for generosity is a sign and a magnet for power. You should not expect free help or support from others without providing something of equal value in return. However, you also should not be too disappointed when you do not receive help or support from others. You just need to keep trying and improving yourself to become more independent and better equipped to face life's challenges. Law 41. Avoid stepping into a great man's shoes. What happens first always appears better and more original than what comes after. If you succeed a great man or have a famous parent, you will have to accomplish double their achievements to outshine them. Do not get lost in their shadow, or stuck in a past, not of your own making, establish your own name and identity by changing course. Slay the overbearing father, disparage his legacy, and gain power by shining in your own way. You need to understand that usurping the position or role of someone more powerful than you can provoke resistance or even conflict from those who hold that power and influence. Additionally, it can set extremely high standards or expectations from others that may be difficult for you to meet. Instead, you should focus on building your own position or role through safer and more effective means, such as improving your skills or abilities, expanding your network of relationships, and gradually gaining support or approval from others at the right time. Law 42. Strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. Trouble can often be traced to a single strong individual, the stirrer, the arrogant underling, the poisoner of goodwill. If you allow such people room to operate, others will succumb to their influence. Do not wait for the troubles they cause to multiply. Do not try to negotiate with them. They are irredeemable. Neutralize their influence by isolating or banishing them. Strike at the source of the trouble and the sheep will scatter. If you want to destroy or control a group, attacking or defeating its leader can indeed result in the group's downfall. However, you must still do it with cunning and caution because attacking or overthrowing the leader can trigger resistance from their followers. Therefore, carefully consider the strategies and actions you will take to control or destroy the group. Law 43. Work on the hearts and minds of others. Coercion creates a reaction that will eventually work against you. You must seduce others into wanting to move in your direction. A person you have seduced becomes your loyal pawn. And the way to seduce others is to operate on their individual psychologies and weaknesses. Soften up the resistant by working on their emotions, playing on what they hold dear and what they fear. Ignore the hearts and minds of others, and they will grow to hate you. However, it's important to remember that in influencing others, you should not be too forceful or compromise your own integrity. Build mutually beneficial relationships and ensure that what you do is for the common good and not just for your own personal gain. Law 44. Disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. The mirror reflects reality, but it is also the perfect tool for deception. When you mirror your enemies, doing exactly as they do, they cannot figure out your strategy. The mirror effect mocks and humiliates them, making them overreact. By holding up a mirror to their psyches, you seduce them with the illusion that you share their values. By holding up a mirror to their actions, 
You teach them a lesson. Few can resist the power of the mirror effect. By doing this, you can compel them to confront their inconsistencies or weaknesses and take different actions. However, you still need to be careful in applying this law because mirroring or imitating others too obviously or extremely can trigger resistance from their supporters. Do it gently and carefully to make it more effective. Law 45. Preach the need for change. But never reform too much at once. Everyone understands the need for change in the abstract. But on the day-to-day -day level people are creatures of habit. Too much innovation is traumatic. And will lead to revolt. If you are new to a position of power. Or an outsider trying to build a power base. Make a show of respecting the old way of doing things. If change is necessary. Make it feel like a gentle improvement on the past however. It is important to remember that being too slow in making changes will hinder the progress you desire. Therefore, you must find a balance between pushing for change and not changing too many things at once. Law 46. Never appear too perfect. Appearing better than others is always dangerous. But most dangerous of all is to appear to have no faults or weaknesses. Envy creates silent enemies. It is smart to occasionally display defects. And admit to harmless vices. In order to deflect envy and appear more human and approachable. Only gods and the dead can seem perfect with impunity. What you need to remember is that you should not reveal weaknesses that are too significant because. It can diminish your authority and credibility in the eyes of others. You need to maintain a positive and impressive image but not appear too perfect so that others can feel closer to you. Law 47. Do not go past the mark you aimed for. In victory, learn when to stop. The moment of victory is often the moment of greatest peril. In the heat of victory, arrogance and overconfidence can push you past the goal you had aimed for. And by going too far, you make more enemies than you defeat. Do not allow success to go to your head. There is no substitute for strategy and careful planning. Set a goal. And when you reach it. Stop. In addition. This law also teaches us to reflect on our failures and mistakes and learn from them. By understanding failure and mistakes. You can improve your ability to plan wiser actions in the future and achieve greater success in the. Long run. Law 48. Assume formlessness. By taking a shape. By having a visible plan. You open yourself to attack. Instead of taking a form for your enemy to grasp. Keep yourself adaptable and on the move. Accept the fact that nothing is certain and no law is fixed. The best way to protect yourself is to be as fluid and formless as water. Never bet on stability or lasting order. Everything changes. You also need to consider the surrounding conditions and take appropriate actions according to the situation. Additionally, this law also teaches us to leverage the strengths and weaknesses of our enemies and take appropriate actions to outsmart or avoid them. By being flexible and not bound to a specific pattern of action or habit, you can capitalize on situations and gain greater advantages in the long run.